I've challenged chefs with some of the craziest ingredients, but these days I've been really interested in learning different ways to cook with exotic ingredients like a king crab. These things are the monsters of crustaceans. I'm super excited about this one, and if you guys like it too, please give me a thumbs up. It'll mean a lot. And comment down below what kind of exotic ingredient you'd want to see a professional chef cook with next, and we'll make it happen. All right, guys, today we're in Chinatown, and we're going to do something special. We're going to go into my favorite supplier for king crab, Aqua Best. Yo! How you doing? Good to see you. I'm here to pick up a uh, king crab. King crab, all yeah. right. Why don't I show you something pretty cool right here? Holy crap. Like he's so big, I had to use tape to close his claws. Holy crap, look at this size of this thing. As big as my hand. You here to get some king crabs? This is <laughs> a giant one. Holy cow. I'm saving this for you. Dang. This guy is 11 pounds. Wow. I'm going to run with this guy. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see how, how much this thing weighs. 11 pounds 30. No way. 11 pounds? This is actually the heaviest one I think we got. That is insane. To keep it cool and alive, we're going to wrap it with some wet newspaper, some ice, and this thing can keep it a long time storage. Yeah. All right, we'll say goodnight. All right, if you guys are ever wondering what a ticket price of a 11.3 pound king crab is, there you go, 6.24. We are at No One Bushwick. We have our 11 pound king crab here. We're about to deliver it to the chef, and let's see what he can make with it. Still low, grand reveal. Oh my goodness. Look at this crab. Yo. This thing is heavy. 11.3 pounds. Goodness. Beautiful sweet king crab legs, right? The meat, very sweet. And then there's a crab inner or the miso, which I want to incorporate somehow as well. I'm gonna prepare some blanching liquid or court bouillon. Lemon. Let's take some garlic. Let's take some herbs. Let's take some scallion. This guy. Garlic. So right now you're seasoning the liquid that it's about to boil in. Exactly. It's gonna take an aromatic, fragrant bath just to, you know, help out with the flavor of the meat. It's gonna help perfume it just a little bit. Crab here. All right. I'm sorry to do this to you, crab. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. <laughs> is this thing too big for the pot? It's too big. Dude, this is the biggest pot we have. Let's see how the crab's doing. All right. All right. Crab. We got our crab half this? cooked. Now we gotta flip it. Oh. Wow. My goodness. All right, now I'm gonna pull out this crab. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna make an ice bath, throw the crab in there so it can cool down now. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Now we're gonna pull it out. I'm gonna pull some legs off now. You see nice. that? Yeah, I do see, see the that. meat moving? If you cook it too long, the meat will shrink too much and you don't want that. We're gonna remove the skirt. Oh, well, that looks like alien, right? Is That's that poop? the poop shoot. Oh, wow. This part we're gonna throw away. I'm gonna save this shell because I'm gonna plate the Korean fried crab in here. That is very big. It's gonna give it a little haircut. Go trimming. Nice. Twice the length of your hand, chef. Now we're just gonna trim this down. <laughs> a lot of work. Now we got two. And it's work. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we are down ah. to our last leg. Everything hurts. Boom. All right. Okay, now we're taking the body. We're going to remove all the gills. Ooh. All right, so, so this I'm going to save. You see that? That's the crab fat. This is what we want. Save all this guy. Break this in half. Use a chopstick. Oof. Oh, wow. Look at that meat. Jeez. Oh my goodness. So with this, I'm gonna throw it into here with the crab bag. We're gonna put that on top of dish three on the pizza. Dish number one, wood fire king crab legs, gochujang aioli, cilantro, and lemon. First step, we're gonna make the gochujang aioli. We're gonna add some mayonnaise. What kind of mayonnaise is this, QP? This is QP, the best. Next up, we're gonna take some gochujang. Oh yeah, we're gonna add gochujang right in there. Some toasted sesame oil. Beautiful. Dish number one, over here. You ready? Gochujang aioli. We're gonna put this on top of the king crab legs. You know, just gonna go a little. Nice. All right, here we got king crab legs topped off with gochujang aioli. Right, we're gonna put this right into this wood-fired oven. Oh, what is this? Little bellows for the wood-fired oven. 
It's a little hammer coming your way. Oh yeah, that's dope. Why not use like one of those uh, guns? I am a little concerned with using something electrical in here. The heat from the oven could get to the point where it starts melting the guns. Right Dude, this thing is hot. 570 degrees. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, you could see the kochujang aioli bubbling right there, chef. I'm gonna give it a nice turn and it'll pick up a little color on top too. Coming out now. That is beautiful. We're gonna torch the top just to give it a touch more color. Man, you can hear the bubbling underneath all that meat, man. Let's do some cilantro on this. Wedge of lemon. Is that a little trick so that you can de-seed all the lemons? Yeah, nice and easy. Put a jalapeno, thin jalapeno as a garnish. I'm gonna plate it up right on this silver platter. We gotta make it fancy, right? Oh my gosh. Mm. Let's add some chilies on top of the meat. Cilantro around, with of lemon. We got fish number one, wood oven roasted, king crab legs with kochujang aioli. I'll put some lemon juice. Grab the meat, grab the meat like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the best way I've ever had a king crab in my life. Dude, this got a nice balance of spice, acidity, fattiness. All this juice cannot go to waste too. Yo, you make that look extra good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great start for dish number one. Guys. Dish number two, we're gonna make KFC, uh, aka Korean fried crab. First step, roasted scallion oil. This is some minced garlic. It smells nice. It smells so aromatic, so fragrant. Let's add some butter. And how much butter is this? This is one pound. One but, pound of we're, butter. But we're not gonna add all this. This time, we're gonna avoid diabetes. Let's add some brown sugar. Let's add some honey. We're just gonna let it come up slowly, just until the sugar dissolves and the butter melts. Let's add some chili oil. This chili oil was made with roasting scallion, onion, ginger, four different types of dried chilies, Korean chili, chili flakes, chili peppers. There's a touch of Sichuan peppercorn and some star anise and some cinnamon in there. Very there's dense. also, yeah, there's also sesame seeds. We make this in house and we, we're gonna add some of this to our honey butter. Sweet rice flour. Cornstarch. Club soda. What is club soda, dude? You know, the bubbles help you get a crispier, airier product at the end when you're frying it. And it has to be cold. The colder the batter is, the crispier the product you get. You have a dry batter and a wet batter? Is exactly. that what's going on? Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna grab the king crab legs. Okay, so we have our dry batter. We're gonna add a few pieces in there. We're gonna double fry it and then we're gonna glaze it in chili honey garlic butter. Two minutes and we're gonna fry it one more time, get it really crispy, and we're gonna plate it up. Right, we're gonna use this sauce right here. We're gonna fry it again, you ready? Second time. We're gonna plate the crab in here. We cleaned it real nice. It's double fried. I'm just gonna hit this with a little bit of salt. We're just gonna add a little bit on here. Okay. Jeez. You can see the air bubbles you created with the club soda you used in that batter. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna plate it up. Garnish with some dill. There you go. Dish number two, we got KFC, Korean fried crab with chili, honey, garlic butter. Treating it? Let's do it. All right. Yeah. Oh my God. Bro, that crunch is crazy. And that flavor, oh my goodness. One more bite, baby. Just one of dish number one, I'm not gonna lie, baby. No. I'm speechless. This is dish number two, better than dish number one, in my opinion. Best fried anything that I've <laughs> ever had. These first two dishes are insane. Well, looks like they're preparing dish number three right now. We're gonna move on to dish number three, king crab pizza with fresh mozzarella, yuzu ricotta, and truffle oil. Let's go make the yuzu ricotta. All right, here we go. with some heavy cream. Some cream goes in. That's gonna whip up. Okay, so whipping up some heavy cream. We wanna make it fluffy. All right, you're, you see this? But now let's add some ricotta cheese, okay? All right. That looks about right. Let's mix it up. 
take some yuzu concentrate. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I already know this is gonna be so flavorful. Let's add some yuzu juice. Yuzu. That's the touch. There you go. That's all we need. Now I'm gonna get my chef to just put that in a piping bag because we got important things to do. Um, I'm stretching out some dough. We got some dough stretched out. We're gonna put some fresh mozzarella, scallion oil, pizza seasoning, garlic, oregano, chili flakes, mm -hmm. onion powder. Now we're gonna get this pizza peel. How long is it for? For about maybe two minutes. Whoa! Oh, a little bubble forming. It's fast, right? It's super hot, so I'm gonna bring it out a little this way. Hard baked at this point. So remember the crab meat that we mixed with the crab fat? We're gonna take some of this. We're just gonna lay it on top of the pizza. Cheese. Now we gotta pop this back in. The crab is cooked already, so we don't have to leave it in there for too much longer. We just wanna warm it through a little bit, and then we're ready. It cooks super fast, you know what I mean? Dude, this fire is insane. Hoo hoo hoo! Sheesh! And here we got whipped yuzu ricotta. Boom, boom, boom. What are you doing now? Some lemon zest. This is some garlic breadcrumbs we have, we make here. White truffle oil, just a, just a touch. That's it. For dish number three, we have king crab pizza with crab fat, yuzu ricotta, garlic breadcrumb, and white truffle oil. Wow. We gotta give it a try, chef. Let's do it. All right, here we go, man. Oh my gosh. Hold it from the bottom, okay? I'll hold it from the bottom. Let's dig in. That yuzu ricotta is actually mm. insane. It's so fluffy, airy, but it, it gives that freshness to the whole dish. Yes. Crab is naturally sweet, a little briny, oceanic, and the crab fat, a lot of umami, a lot of deep flavors. Wanted to balance that out with some ricotta, which is cool and refreshing. Mm -hmm. And the touch of yuzu is citrusy and adds a new element to the dish. So I think that's why it pairs really well <coughs> together. Chef Jaylee, you killed it. This isn't Korean, by the way, but. <laughs> <laughs> Still amazing. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you have it. King Crab turned gourmet three ways. Chef Jaylee, any last thoughts, any last words? Dude, I am tired. It was for you guys. Hope it was worth it. I think it was worth it. I'll, I'll come back with another king crab. Oh, hey, okay. let's do it. <laughs> Thank you very much for all your support. Come visit us at the restaurant, No One, New York City. We have two locations. Come eat some delicious Korean-inspired food. Yes, sir. Some of the best I've ever had. Chef Jaylee, thank you so much. Thank you. Yo, you make that look extra good. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, you know where I'm not little Joe? <laughs>